If a trial in experiment three had been performed with the swabs 25 centimeters apart, the distance from the HCl swab to the ring would most likely be, this is the distance from the HCl swab to the ring would most likely be. So to answer this question, let's just go ahead and scan for experiment three in here. I've posted it. They're asking what would happen if we had a trial? So this is, these are the trials, just different experiments. What happens if we add a new one? So let's imagine that we added a new trial here. We'll call it, I don't know, 10.5 maybe. And then they're saying, what if the distance was 25 centimeters apart? So here we can see the distance between swabs. Well, what if we had added a trial that was 25 centimeters apart? What would the distance from the HCl swab to the ring be? And that's this column here, the distance of the ring from the HCl swab. And we need to understand the relationship between blue and green here. So what we see is as the distance between swabs increases, so does the distance of the ring from the HCl swab. So specifically, if we go up uh, by 10 here, so let me just write this out. I went, the difference between 10 and 20 is 10, and the difference between four and eight is about four. And we can see the difference between 20 and 30 is again, 10 and so are all of these, they went up by 10 each time. And the distance between these is about four each time. So now they're asking, well, what if we put a new one right in the middle here between 20 and 30, and we can see that it goes up by four each time. We might expect that if we put one exactly in the middle, it would go up by two. And that turns out to be, well, here, let me write this in green, the correct answer that this number, if we injected a new trial, should be about 10G.